afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. They're currently looking at Old Faithful. The geysers there in the upper geyser basin have been dirty, meaning the magma's coming up underneath, uh, melting the rock, bringing up the toxic gases. And yeah, the little particles of rock they're currently looking at Old Faithful. Yeah, and they got snow there. I got snow here last night, too. It actually stuck last night. Not a lot, a little dusting. It's been trying to snow here where I'm at in South Dakota for about three days, but it finally stuck last night. I took um, a video of it and posted it on Twitter. I got uh, two little squirrels in my video. Yeah, it finally stuck. Yeah, that's my car with all the snow on top. And you can see the bare parking spot. And then we got a little squirrel. Ran up and hid. And then there's another one that ran across the road. He's hiding behind there. Yeah, I had to go out and give them their food. Yeah, I tried calling them. But they're not used to me. I don't go out there or sit out there enough where they become that friendly. Yeah, there he is. But they did get fed. And we did get snow. Tomorrow is Halloween, so I hope everyone has a safe holiday. Watch out for the kids running around. They're so excited to get their candy that they don't look for cars, so you have to watch for them. And Saturday, we will be turning our clocks back, losing an hour. Um, Yeah, it's just getting too dark too early. And I hate when they change the clocks around. Look how dirty that is. Yeah. I downloaded an extra monitor for Lima, Montana, because that's the area where they've been, or they did have an earthquake swarm. It's a small town. Let me show you. Um, none of these quakes that I'm going to show you, they reported. These are very small. Um, I believe this one here was a magnitude... 0 0.5 let's see here yeah 0 0.54 excuse me and there's this, the signature um and then they got um drum beats going on kind of let's see down here yeah yeah see that that's the sawtooth and I've, I've talked about the magma coming up from the yellowstone chamber and how the uh it's moving horizontally. Some of it moves to the east horizontally, but most of it moves to the west along the Snake River Plateau. That could be why we got um, past eruptions in that area. The most recent, uh, I want to say Craters of the Moon, which was only about 2,000 years ago. So I made this a little bit bigger so you can see the uh, tooth marks, the drum beats. Let me come over. I'll make that bigger. See that? This is Lima, Montana. And then we got thickening of the lines. Um, plumes of magma. Blobs of magma, I should say. That's what they call it. Actual blobs of magma. But when I look at the spectrogram, I really don't see any sign of like it's going to erupt there anytime soon. Just um, heated water probably and heated gases that's all i see here yeah other than the uh <laughs> yeah the sawtooth which was going on right right there yeah so i downloaded the borehole for yellowstone lake i had a heck of a time getting some of these monitors to work and then lima montana second to the left um West Thumb, which is on the right, or far right, and then Lake Butte, which is second to the right. Now remember, they got that crack at the bottom of Yellowstone Lake that goes from north to south. And we got the tipping of the lake, and you can see the line of melt here at Yellowstone Lake. And I noticed, yeah, the pulsating that was going on. Let's go to the seismic signature. Yeah, what do we got there? Let me look at that. Yeah, okay, and I'll just bring it over. This is what it was showing when I pulled the files, maybe about an hour ago. 
it's currently four or two forty three excuse me it's currently two forty three p m central daylight time, which would make it one forty three there at the park so this was at one forty six central daylight time uh twelve forty six there at the park when I downloaded this stuff. All right, so what else do we got here? We got this. Oh, yeah, it looks like um, Dyke Intrusion. That's what it looks like. Yeah, let's extract that. Fault movement. That's all fault movement. Yeah, they got spreading there at the lake. This is from 2008 and 2009. There's that crack. Let me make that bigger. So here's a, an example of the spreading that's going on. At Yellowstone Lake, they measured um, throughout this area here, which is about 7.4 miles, about seven and a half miles. Let me bring it over. Um, and you can see here how the diagram is drawn out and it's broken up. Um, this area at the top towards the fishing bridge has moved about three miles, spreading. And then it gets less and less uh, towards the south, which I think is really interesting. I got some of the faults drawn out here. Um, over here is Mary's Bay that blew out um, from a hydrothermal eruption. And then they have a bulge. I used to have it drawn out here. But in this area, they have a bulge um, coming up under the lake because of more pressure. Probably one day it's going to um, erupt maybe in this area with another hydrothermal eruption. We'll just have to wait and see. But this diagram was made up in 2008 and 2009. I'm going to have to do some more research in this. So the monitor that I have for Lake Butte right there, that's where that one's at right there. And then this one here, that is the borehole, a very deep well under the ground, borehole 208. Yeah, so we got more spreading going on, more pressure happening, more, yeah, let me go, yeah, I can see all that. Let's look at the spectrogram, yeah, just pull it over, go up, looks like we got some screaming, something happened right there, yeah, let me close this out it's been going on when i started pulling the files um three hours worth it looks like and then we got a little gusher there look at the heat that came up there okay let's see what else it's got showing here um some small microquakes there's one there probably yeah popping up the ground Let's see, we got some more there, more spreading going on. And then up over here, yeah, yeah, blobs of magma coming in. You can see the melt. Yeah. Now the monitor for West Thumb, that stopped working, but this is what it was showing when I pulled the files. Look at that. Yeah, we got the blobs of magma coming in here. Um, That stopped working. At about 16, oh, 1,600 hours, I should say, um, universal. About 10.30 a.m. the local time there at the park. And we got some marked in red here. 7.52. Look at the heat that came up. And looks like more, yeah, more, more stretching of the uh, fault zone. Oh, we got a small one there. Now that one's harmonic tremors. That's magma on the move there. What we got here? It's going to go small. Yeah, the melt. Yeah, getting closer. Yeah. Over the weekend, or was it Friday? Um, Yellowstone Chronicles um, posted a report on how there's been 22 smaller eruption since the last major eruption it's like wow they're finally admitting to it and how there was clusters almost an unzipping um when they had those eruptions the last 
eruption um, was um, 70,000 years ago. Let me show you. All right, up over here, this is Yellowstone Lake. There's the two fingers. And this was the area of its last eruption 70,000 years ago. You can see it's miles and miles of, of um, lava that flowed. 13 miles wide and let's go or 13 miles long I should say and about six miles wide yeah and is it gonna let me a hundred feet thick <laughs> yeah that was one of the smaller eruptions now according to USGS it covers over 1,000 square miles. It also says here 13,800 years ago um, left a 3.1 mile crater at the edge of Yellowstone Lake. Oh, that's probably Mary Bay that it's talking about there. Yeah, and that created a huge tsunami. Um, threw out rocks miles away, miles and miles away. But I'll give you links to these down below. Now oh, they moved the camera again. Um, all the trees grew up during a time what they call the quiet period. Um, within the last 200, 250 years. Some of them are younger. But uh, because it's recharging for another eruption, that's why the gases that are coming up. And they're killing the trees off. And you can see them around the thermal areas. And... Um, this one fault system that goes all the way up to this other geyser. Most volcanoes only have one resurgent dome. Yellowstone has two resurgent domes. And what you see here is the uplift of the Mallard Lake resurgent dome. And it goes all the way up this little crack here. So that's all I have for you right now. If you have any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like share yeah definitely share and be prepared um you just don't know when something's gonna happen and as always be safe and i'll talk to you later <laughs>